But what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Nate, it's a girl Mississippi React. Here I'm back with another video. Uh oh. That can't be true! <laughs> So guys, we're watching The Boondocks, season two, episode 10 and 11. Yes, we are jumping straight into The Boondocks. Last time we had Rams and his crazy family barging into your life, not contributing anything. I was very much triggered. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was very much triggered in that, that episode. And the uh, previous episode before that, I kept saying, I kept confusing the twins' names and I, I feel like I, if anybody shouldn't, I shouldn't because I have second cousins that are twin boys. <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't be getting them confused, but you guys know I'm bad with names. Like if you watch any uh, of my other reactions, especially when it comes to My Hair Academia, there are like so much names to remember and I more so go with nicknames or hero names or my own version of their names but semantics anyway guys <laughs> yeah but yeah we're jumping straight into the boondocks uh i believe it was riley who was having the um fantasies about bawling and then he completely see how that went uh not so good but it's okay riley because i can't ball either <laughs> it's fine it's, it's fine but yeah i'm excited to jump into this episode i don't want to run on too much but if you guys do want to check out my patreon i'm trying to bring it back to life <laughs> so I'll have a link down below in the description as always I am also gonna try to be putting it here so you guys can see if I remember but I'm also gonna be trying to push it more very if you, if you guys are interested and want to watch more episodes I have two weeks in advance on my patreon so go check it out if you want and um give me a little more time and I'll have four weeks up and running but yeah it should be by the time you're watching this video but yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you're just as excited as i am and yeah do you guys hear that <laughs> i swear i heard something coming from that direction uh anyway i don't know if i should well if something jumps out of that thing, my air conditioning, you guys know that that was something there. But yeah, <laughs> um, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Between myself and my brother Riley, it's heading into its eighth year with no signs Damn. of slowing. Hey, man. Dang. <laughs> Grandpa just peacefully just shouted me. Oh, are they fighting? We already know who's winning that. Come on now. <laughs> Ooh, yep. I already knew who he was winning. Not the. Oh, you I'm telling you to <laughs> How you do it? Fight, cheat, and fuck up my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Poor grandpa. Exciting life, have fun, travel, oh, refine mm. wines, but not anymore. I can't even go to dinner. I can't even go to a damn. <laughs> True. <laughs> High five me. No? Okay. Yeah, you know what? You should go to Please. Latin America. You know, someplace like. Oh, God. Girl, hey baby. But, 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 wait a minute, Robert. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to drink Cristal. Says who? Says Jay Z. It's a boy. Mm. I can't fight women. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Hey, Robert, if don't you want beef with woman. The Rock, that's on you. You just better hope that. Mm. All the pretty senoritas come running because they know there's a rich American in the building. Yeah, I bet our dollar is probably worth plenty of theirs. I was gonna say, I think special. that's just because your dollar is worth a lot more. Did he just give them quarters? 
Ding, gong, 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 gong. Damn, Tom, are you sure you want to come? I mean, you're married. Are you even oh, allowed to do with this? Oh, situation. Don't want to invite him. Don't invite Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> no, I still do the darn thing from time to time. Mm -hmm. You and me, baby. Doing it big. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Mm hmm Weird, because I was a mummy in a wow. Japanese girl pop band. I had a skirt on and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that means? <laughs> wow. Not Jay-Z, look at it. Told you so! I don't think our schedule is going to line up. Yeah, I don't think our schedule is going to... Babysitter. Oh, she's a babysitter? Oh my god, what did we do today? Same as you guys. Oh, I know. Maybe we should make s'mores. See, that's why I don't... I like and I don't like about this to you this. Because, like, your neighbors and usually the people that babysit you were here. Dang! That escalated quickly. I was talking. Wow. She's a whole girl a gun boy. No nonsense British super nannies. Oh. I love super nanny. You guys ever watched that actually show? Worked I out. love Except super nanny. That's when you left the lights on in the kitchen. I don't see nobody in the kitchen, do you? Huh? Oh, Sitting here watching geez. television. All the She's lights actually on, doing a job. Using up all of my electricity. <laughs> wow. Can't have your cake and eat it too. Me, uh, my name is Positive Brother Hakeem from Positive Big Black Brothers and Sisters of America. And I understand you have two. Uh huh. To <laughs> not by the tip of its head. I don't know how that one's gonna work out. Did they <gasps> make him lazy? Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> Dang, those are rude ass kids. Figure it out. Y'all the one that ruined all the babysitters. When y'all were fucking up, it's too late now. <laughs> I may never come back. <laughs> okay, Shoot, let's not come. be dramatic. The two weeks. Go snitch me. Well, it's harder to talk if my mouth is full. All right, fine. I left food money in the What's cabinet above the now? oven, but that's all you're going to get, so you. Jesus. What? Uh, do what Rucker says and don't mess up my house. Come I rather me the, the British nanny over Uncle Rucker's baby said me. <laughs> Dang. Please. Grandfather retired. Your I granddaddy can, I, picked I, me I, because I, I am a licensed zoologist. I have studied a variety of Collect data, but be warned. Whatever uh, nigga trickery you got up your sleeves does not affect me. Please do not. I just really care. It's not a girl. Just watch um, Tom to let him go in. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if he said let him go in. Please Are do not allow to board the plane. Did I hear that correctly? Board and pass an ID. Uh, I just was given. I walk straight to you. That's all I did. Sir, I don't have time for this. It's about oh, time for my break, and you are stepping in on my time. You don't have time. Shit, I'm the one with the. I was gonna say you're gonna end up being locked up for two weeks, Grandpa. Just show the ID. Board and pass an ID. Ah! <laughs> oh my time God. to break the rule, you get the cattle prod. The second, ah! you get the elect. What? Okay, I don't think I'll grab this one. Then play it, play it. Get the clubs, get the little pretty girls, let them all uh, kiss on the hand. Fall asleep. <sighs> yeah. See, you want to catch the earliest flight, but then when you get there, you're tired. But you're going to have to push through it because you you have places to see and things to do. We're in the Bahamas. We're going places. Walking around, getting our steps in. 
<laughs> for the whole year. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> She's getting the real. Dang. <laughs> oh, now you guys are working together. I'm surprised he's not carrying one. Lord, why hast thou forsaken me? <laughs> Hey there, Huey. Is your grandfather oh, in? I need to hey. talk to him. We're planning a trip. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get some things, Mr. Dubois. Did he say when? <laughs> Try to tell Mr. Dubois. Well, <laughs> it's just that, well, his, um, <clears throat> his car is right there, and, um... It won't start. <laughs> I, I love that he's actually still covering for him. The store, figure out what you want to eat. Oh, money. Where's the money? What up? Oh no, you need to get your ass beat. You need to get your ass beat. Ain't I'm clean, no. Man, how we gonna eat? I don't know, nigga, you in charge. Yeah, take that. Take them back and go get the money. You crazy? Dang. I even, I lost my- You had my... to ruin my shirt like that. I can't even pop my collar no more. Can't you return it? It has to have tags on it. Family ties? Nigga, you can't grail me. I just did. Don't leave the house. Smoke it. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Tell me about I'm grounded. I'm young Reezy. I goes where I want to go. Damn. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to learn Kung Fu. He's got his ass whooped too many times. I don't know. Over the house until Granddad comes back. You have supreme authority over these nuts, nigga. I'm leaving. You want to stop me? You're going to have to shoot me. Should I get what you wish for? Yeah. Hey there, Huey. I just figured the trip would have gone the way he's going to go. Is your granddad right? I just wanted to visit like, um... The... Those parts. Um... For fun. Oh, he's sitting alone. Best time ever! Look at all the Spanish Did he break a window just to leave the house? Oh! <gasps> Damn. Dang. This is jail. Hey. <laughs> not, the, not the orange jumpsuit. He's in jail. We ran out of food and drink. I was forced. <laughs> talking like this is the apocalypse. <laughs> That's a dramatic music. I can't. I soon forgot which one of us was the prince. Again, just let him go. It's not that serious. Let him do what he gotta do. More bitches. Hey, call me Mr. Bitches. <laughs> wow. And that. Uh, oh, how's the trip? You ready to come home? Are you kidding? I'm having a great time. Woo! <laughs> hey, look, girl, stop tickling me. Talk Wait, what's bad for the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Not by the air, day. <laughs> you are. You really are. Oh. No, not again. 
He went on to do a big trip without me, didn't he? He's off having the time of his life. Granddad is running errands, Mr. You ready to come out? I don't know why you're gonna bring this up on the floor. I doubt it. 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 I'm sure this is like a reference that I'm not getting. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. You guys should just split the house. <laughs> and then we'll really see who's causing all the mischief after that. Am I always the one getting ditched? <laughs> I don't know why I'm not cool. Tom, you think I went all the way... It's been two days. Okay. Oh. Boy! <laughs> Aww. Came uh. home. You home early. Call that figure y'all were destroying my house. Yep. Pretty much. Did you do it big? <laughs> I didn't wear that shoe. You betcha. Mr. Bitches is back in effect. <laughs> Handle it. It sure is good to be home, though. <laughs> Unheard messages. Oh, First gosh. message. Robert, them little niggas are evil. It was terrible. <laughs> oh, I'll let it hang. <laughs> Take the lead, but thank you. Robert, it's like he's Holla back! <laughs> without me, didn't you? I know you <laughs> wouldn't. You did you? You did not go without Deleted. me. Deleted. That's <laughs> real nice, Robert. That's real fucking. Deleted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can just see it progressively got worse after a while. He's like, I know you fucking went out, me. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You know you, you know you did. I got it would have been two days. That's crazy. I'm glad they kind of stuck with the um, kind of timeline of it all because technically, I guess it would make sense that it's only been two days because they ate. I saw them eat like twice. Just make just makes sense. But yeah, we're gonna jump straight into episode 11. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. And, and why? And what did he say specifically Not to you? He said, sit down, nigga. Riley Freeman is a third grade student at J. Edgar Hoover Elementary School. He's a basketball player and F. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Said it was Riley who used the N-word first. Oh. So I told him to take his seat and here comes this barrage of insults. I mean, some of the I words I've never even heard before. Like And he said it again. The insult back to him because that's what I've been trained to do. That is and not what I've been trained to do. Remember to say it's not what you're trained to do. You're supposed to be the bigger person. Right. The N word or any other racially insensitive words. The district's policy is that teachers should always say N word instead of the actual N word. Or. Mm -mm. 
the time. Robert Jebediah Freeman, Riley's grandfather, says the incident takes him back to the civil rights movement. Oh, not, what sad times these are. Him when educators get in on it. I wonder what they're getting for this. And physical damage from this. Mr. Pedo claims the version of nigger ending in ger is the racial slur, but that he was using a different version mm. of the word and need mm. help. Whenever I hear the rappers, they say, nigga! It's in all the music. Look, look, look. Rap songs that use the word nigga. I don't think he's all in a situation at all. Talk to nigga. Ain't no nigga. The school is investigating the incident. But in the meantime, Mr. Petto has been put on unpaid leave. I just couldn't believe it because nobody ever called me a nigga. Oh my god. Give them an award, an Oscar nomination. <laughs> I want to know what they're getting out of this and how this even came up. Like, how this even started. Even though the teacher did not help himself by like, keep repeating it. Like, you could have just. Even after the fact, when they told you just say the N word instead of saying. Or the S word instead of saying the actual word. You know what I mean? I'm just going to stay out of this because I know this is very. It's a very political thing, so I'm just gonna stay at this and watch the episode. Oh, you a nigga, you can do nothing but go around the corner and cry. But now we can fight back. As a matter of fact. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hello, Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Well, Roddy Teacher just called him a. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Too. It happened to the Walmart guy. You probably made that up. Mm -hmm. I bet you Tom would know. Where is he? Don't take that damn loan to get over here. Tom! But Fry, nigga, is you gonna give it back? <laughs> I tell you, my inside voice didn't talk like that before he Sorry. got in my class. We do say can he we said, borrow? I said it first. Man, I'm telling you, I seen the hatred. The guy just seems kind of dumb. And he's already apologized. Damn it! I want to get paid! I'm going to call a press conference. About what? I don't know, but I'm calling one. Mm -mm. Don't they get paid to be in the news and stuff? So you didn't get paid from that? No, I don't think we should use the oh, word. And I'll tell you why. Fine. Because niggas have gotten used to it. They really took their time in bodying. Uncle Ruckus, they really did. Uh, now I know it's hard, cause nigga just rolled off the tongue the way sweat rolled off a nigga's forehead. But we cannot let that be a crutch, especially when there are so many other fine stuff. A Bonnie and Stan. So in I conclusion, really we don't want to try this case in the press, no. And let's remember that the victim is a young child, so let's be respectful. I have a message for the Woodcrest School District. Bravo, good love. What's that two-bit hustler doing here? He's like, oh my god, can you like not? Wouldn't have a country if it wasn't for the word nigga. White man said, nigga, pick that cotton. Nigga, bail that hate. Hurry up, nigga. That's America you building. And that's a. Half a million? Whoa! A half a million? Half a million? Damn. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Right. They keep it for themselves, though. They buy themselves private jets and hookers and stuff like that. Your kids eating tater tots and skillet sensations while they eating lobster. Mm -hmm. 
Sam Hill, or you, you know what? You making me nervous, very nervous, brother. <laughs> Tom, you're fired. Uh, wh what? And I had a lot good love, Jambalaya of Justice League. Have mercy. <laughs> Wow. Uh, oh, well, uh, okay then. Uh, so I just wait for your response then. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a good response. Wow. Now, I think it's wrong for anybody to use the word nigga at any time. <laughs> Is that wrong now? Three. We are back. Oh, yeah, My guest man. this evening, uh, Reverend yeah, Waldo Goodlow. <laughs> Emily at the center of this controversy. Let me ask you, why does that word still have so much power? Well, Larry King... That's a very good question. Uh, which from my... Antidote and everything. They feeling the heat right about now. I'm telling you. I stayed up all night practicing that damn antidote. Next time I get to talk first and you talk second. Oh, no, shush. We're. Thugs like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. Did, did she, she just call me a thug? She sure did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that ant culture show pull your card. Girls who smell like them. I'm also joined by Reverend so Rollo Goodlove, so star of the upcoming BET name. sitcom My Dad Rollo, and author of the book Real Spit from Rollo. And finally by Robert. F mm -mm. So here's what it's going to look like. It's called They Call Me Nigger, One Family Struggle for Justice and Freedom. And it's written by me and about me and it's very... Okay. Okay. Book some out to remind yourself to go buy it. Uh, thank you. Okay, I want to start with Anne. And so Anne. Much was resolved, but they did it again. Next, they'll be wow. throwing. Let me guess, they're gonna get their own show together where they discuss political, political um, um stuff. They shouldn't call themselves the N-word. Just like if they don't want the police to pull them over. Wow. And since you asked me about 20 minutes ago, Robert? Well, don't you think we should have heard something about now? Baby, baby, I, I don't care. care. I don't care. Baby, I don't... Who's that? I'm stupid. I know you fucking that bitch. Okay, I know you are. I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't play. Oh, so this is where your resentment comes from. Damn, Abdul, can you let a bitch work? <laughs> Shit, one of us has to. It ain't like yo ass is going to get a job. <laughs> you know I had to wow. bail this mother. fucks with these crab cakes. <laughs> I'm tearing I these bad boys up. Mm. So are you even a Republican? Uh, hell no. You think I like going out there and saying this re Sensitivity training. What? Wow. Oh, man. I mean, That's a mo- Hell, <laughs> you you're not getting that money. Yeah. <laughs> not him laughing again. You'll get him next time. Hey, Abdul, I see you over there talking to that white bitch. You ain't slick. Wait, 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 wait. That's it? We don't get nothing? I think maybe Huey's right. Oh, yeah. Why did this to Huey? Mm -hmm. Uh, hello? Hello, Chauncey. Hey, now, Chauncey, you come extras ready for the protest, man? 
No, them niggas don't get no dinner. Just lunch. It's a street. We reserved this spot three months ago, and that black nigger came and stole our press with whatever bullshit he's protesting over there. Oh, but we have something for that ass. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. I guess it's glad he didn't join that protest. That would have been rough. And not only did they shoot at us, they referred to us as the N-word several times. And we definitely intend to make them pay, damn it. Wait a minute. Listen to you. <laughs> I could have been shot at any... I've learned my lesson. Like I'm That's never incredible. ever gonna say any form of nigger. I'm cured of that. No. And that's why I'm pushing for a constitutional amendment that will protect okay. the white man's right to say any incarnation of the word nigger at any time spent. I'm surprised that you can still say <laughs> you can say the n-word. People should never use racist words when describing other black people. And if you do, then you're a sample and a coon. <laughs> So guys, that was my reaction to the Boondock season two, episode ten and eleven. Yes, those were very interesting um, episodes. We had a very political episode with the teacher saying the N word over and over and over again, and then we had the situation with um, Riley and Huey fighting each other to the death match. I mean, come on, if you have your siblings that are close in age. You're bound to fight. Like, me and my sister used to fight all the time growing up, so it's bound to happen. I don't know if it was in the, the intensity as them, but I even fought with my cousin, my male cousin. Like, we used to go at it, like, not like them, but we used to go at it. So, I feel like fighting is a part of childhood. If you didn't fight, if you didn't scrape your knee, you know what I mean? If you didn't eat too much sugar. <laughs> Did you have a childhood? You know what I mean? <laughs> but. Yeah, that was a very interesting episode. I did not think we were gonna get something like that. I like how they have it, the title as F word, even though it was about the N word. Interesting. I don't know if it was because they didn't want them to know what it was about until they actually watched the episode, because I can say this, this was, I'm sure the Boondocks would not fly in the 21st. Um, not in the 21st, because the second they come out in the 21st century, this would not, fly with Gen Z. Gen Z would have had this cancelled immediately. And this is me saying this as a Gen Z. They would have cancelled immediately. Like, but I feel like it's all satire. It's all to make you really think about the world. Like, Uncle Ruckus is the embodiment of a self-hating black person. Now, I can't wait to actually get Uncle Ruckus storyline like I don't know when that's gonna happen I don't know if it's gonna happen in this season or if it's gonna happen in the next season but I really want to know what made Uncle Ruckus him because I feel like no matter what happened to him I feel like there's no justification for his level of hatred to, for himself and for everybody else he even that episode where he thought he was gonna get into white heaven you really think there's a separate heaven <laughs> for white people that is some that is some deep rooted that itself Dang, at that point, like, dang, I, like, every time I see him, come, like, oh my god, here we go again. Yes, what do you want? <laughs> He's raising my blood pressure up every time I see him. But, yeah, guys, I cannot wait for the rest of this season. We have two more, two, technically two more videos after this, and then we're on season three. I feel like we just started the bone knocks, but at the same time, I feel like if I stuck on schedule, I would have been... Like almost done by now, but I procrastinate a lot, and I'm a, I have a lot of work to do. But I'm gonna try my best to stick on schedule and watch the series, guys. Watch all my series, and don't forget to comment down below your different recommendations so that when I finish the Moon Knocks, we can jump straight into other series. Please let me know down below, and yeah, do not forget to give this like video a thumbs up. Comment down below, 
what you thought of this see what you thought of these episodes don't forget to subscribe button and yeah that's me